I have the next one for you. We sold equipment on May 1st, this time, 2017. And um, let's take a look what's going on here. I still have cost of 65000 and then salvage value of five. Five-year useful life, so 12000 annual depreciation. But remember, I told you, double-check your date. Recall that we bought equipment on January 1st, 14, and it just happened that <clears throat> we've had equipment for how long? <clears throat> so it's 1 1 14. We had it for 15, that's one year. Then we had it 1 1 16. Okay, here is your. 12, I'm going to put it in there, 31, 16, and we did not keep it for the full year. We did sell it on May 1st, 17, 17. Okay, so the very last time we updated depreciation for the full year was as of December 31st, 2016. So, so far we have 36,000 in there. And the next time the update will be at the end of the year, but it's too late for this particular equipment. So, for us to calculate gain or loss on sale, you must update your records first. So, we have a partial year. We have not recorded this partial year yet. Be careful. How many months do you have? You might even write them out. You have January, February, February, March, and April, and then it's May 1st. So I have four extra months that I need to record depreciation for. So I will take my annual depreciation expense, multiply it by four twelfths. So you can think of it as I will divide it by 12 to get my monthly depreciation and then multiply by 4. I need to record 4 extra thousand. So here is the journal entry. Debit depreciation expense for 4,000 and credit accumulated depreciation. Now, due to this new update, if you put 4,000 in there, you will end up with 40,000 on your books. $40,000 worth of accumulated depreciation. All right, now we're ready for the journal entry for the sale. As I told you earlier, please start with, with the equipment. Credit equipment for cost. Then go ahead and debit accumulated for full amount up to the date of sale. So my book value in this case is $25,000. That's the difference between these two accounts. Next one, record cash proceeds, 31. So the value of my books was 25. I managed to sell it for 31. Whoa, I have a gain of $6,000. I have a gain on disposal for $6,000. So wonderful situation for me.